a nation nation back with our favorite analyst joshua liberman out of albuquerque new mexico you've had some travels but that's not why we're here you were saying off camera the events are looking uh, great but let's get to the point more importantly Within the last, what, seven, 10 days, there's been a significant increase in the denial of service attacks in the telecom sector. Let me hand it over to you. It started with bandwidth. What's going on? Well, I don't know if I said it was a significant increase. What I did note, though, is that we became aware of it. So bandwidth.com is the underlying bandwidth provider for a lot of uh, hosted work, a lot of VoIP providers. Uh, not all from our earlier discussion, but many including uh, at least a couple we know of and work with. So the, the issue here is that that DOS or DDOS, that distributed denial of service, seems to have been focused on their ranks over the last couple of weeks. We found out after, after it became utterly obvious early last week that this was a major issue, we found out that it had actually been going on for some time, but being ramped up. It got to the point where they couldn't manage it and many of the hosted VoIP providers in particular were having significant trouble delivering services. Ours was up and down and unpredictable. I'd say one full day and maybe parts of another couple of days. It seems resolved now, but I haven't read good, a good analysis of by what means it's resolved. So the question is, are they kicking the can down the road, which is today's phrase, apparently, if you're following congressional here, but are they kicking the? I'm sorry, congressional progress. If you're, are they kicking the can down the road, or that they solve a problem? I would assume the former, but I don't know that for a fact. Uh, the other thing, you know, everybody noticed. I guess more people might have noticed was that Facebook was offline for five or six hours. That's Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, just to be precise, since they're all. Yeah, and WhatsApp is sort of a communication app. I mean, let's face it, right? It falls into the realm. What I'm driving at is it's more than sort of. I find it interesting that this might be the, the way that our Congress finds to regulate Facebook. Facebook's services are the business backbone in the United States of a number of very small businesses. Or even one. But around the world, and in particular Africa and South America and parts of Western Europe that I know of, they're also critical to businesses. What I didn't realize is how critical Instagram and WhatsApp were to those same businesses. I listened to interviews of people from everywhere from West Africa to Central Europe to South America discussing how they were completely down. For example, Panama, at least in part of Panama and Central America, couldn't even deliver COVID testing because all the scheduling and service handling was done through WhatsApp. And then Vendors that use Instagram, and I didn't know there were vendors that used Instagram, but they were vendors that used Instagram to manage ordering and other things like that. And they were also offline, which seemed almost absurd. And I don't think this has ever happened before, but everybody's in the field and I have somebody knocking on our front door. Can I step away for a moment, Harry? Well, I'll tell you what, I think we've kind of checked off on the conversation. I mean, you okay. you, you laid it out, my friends. So we'll just see you next time. That's uh, that's okay. cool. Busy time. have to do that. No, I love it. Keep it real. Keep it right. real, man. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.